Brian, a tight game, mm. scrappy, bad weather conditions, but a point against a, a relegation rival, is that a good point? Um, yeah, I think I think it is. Um, as, as you alluded to, the conditions were really, really difficult, same for both teams, obviously. Um, type of football we wanted to play was difficult to um, enforce on the, on the pitch in those conditions first half. Um, well, I think the core elements of what of what, um, of what the lads wanted to achieve were there. They showed um, an amazing commitment to defend the goal, and I thought our courage to attack was pretty good. And on another day, we could have had a couple of goals, and and, and our resilience at defending set pieces again was was exceptional against a team who are known to be very very potent at, at attacking corners. So um, just had to remind the players that it, it, it's a big step forward for us and, and something that we can really build on. Really. The recent. Goals against Column has uh, took a bit of a battering. You know, in the last couple of games, it's 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 obviously uh, been a lot better. And a clean sheet tonight, that will please you. Yeah, um, as I said on Saturday, our players um, have become, um, I think, internally a bit obsessed with wanting to keep a clean sheet because it hasn't happened so long. So um, um, I haven't changed my beliefs so in, in two or three days. I'm trying to just take that away from the players and just ask them to defend as well as they can for as long as they can. And um, and, and and that leads to the to the clean sheet. I don't I don't really look like conceding goal. Um, in a lot of ways, we were a lot more controlled on Saturday in our defensive work. Um, so I suppose if we could add the attacking player to that as we progress, we will we will win the game. Talk about these games coming up against the teams down at the bottom. To lose a player like Ryan McLaughlin early on, going forward, that could be bad news. Is there any news on, on why he had to yeah, come off? Yeah, um, I just he had a bang and the um, he was just a bit um, he just didn't feel himself so. Um, the doctor advised us to take him off, so it was, it, there was nothing we could do. And um, added to the loss of um, Ethan Ebanks, it was quite a it was quite a, um, a tough couple of days losing that the, the, those two players who who were so good on Saturday and tonight. So um, real credit to the rest of the squad. Jimmy Cahill came on and did exceptionally well for the team. Um, didn't let them down anyway. So he was excellent actually. And uh, and you know Jimmy McNulty had you know probably Jimmy wasn't fully fit and um, put you know put himself right right in the line and did great for the lads again for. 90 minutes, so um, there was a lot of commitment shown and, and lads who were desperate to play and help each other, so um, that was very, very pleasing.